Hi there, AP Calc. The vast majority of us, when we did quarter four, lesson one, problem 14, um, did not complete the problem. So I wanted to make a quick little video to show you how to do it. This problem is based on differential equations, which were lessons five and six of the previous quarter. So a differential equation is an equation that starts out as a derivative that you have to integrate in order to get to um, the actual equation for h of t. So it starts out by separating variables. And in fact, this problem gave you that hint. It said, use separation of variables to find an expression for h. So the first thing you need to do is get all the h's on one side and all the t's on the other, meaning that this root h needs to be on the other side, so you need to divide by root h. And this dt needs to be on the other side, so you need to multiply by dt to get rid of that. And so your first step, once you've separated the variables, you have dh over square root of h equals dt, well, technically negative one-tenth dt. And so now what we have is we have h's on the left and t's on the right. So we can integrate both sides. Um, the dh and the dt are just like dx's. They're needed inside the integral, but they don't necessarily affect the rule that we use. So for the root h, this you need to think of it as h to the negative a half dh. The other side is even easier because it's like having a constant times dx. So if you think about something simpler, let's say you had um, integral of 2 dx. The integral of 2 is just 2x. So the integral of negative 1 tenth is just negative 1 tenth and then t plus c. So that's the integral of that. Um, the other side you need to use h and still using the power rule. So you're adding 2 over 2 to that, so you've gotten h to the half and then when you divide by the half, what that really means is you're multiplying by 2. You do not need to put a plus c on both sides. So you only need 1 plus c. Um, and the 2 uh, h to the half just means 2 root h. So the next step was to plug in the initial condition in order to find the plus c. The initial condition is given right there. It says at time t is 0 seconds, the height of the water is 5 feet. So we know the height is 5, so this is 2 root 5 equals, and then the t is 0, so this is 0. So basically, our, our c is equal to 2 root 5. And again, that's because I plug in 0 into this, so that, that just goes away, so you just get equals c. So this is our c. And then the very last step is to plug it all in, to plug the c back into here and solve for h. So we take this equation and we rewrite it. We go 2 root h equals negative 1 tenth t, and then plus c, but instead of plus c, you write plus 2 root 5. So from here, to solve for h, we can divide by 2. Everything is divided by 2. So root h equals, now negative 1 tenth divided by 2 is just negative 1 20th t, and then that is just plus root 5. And then the very last step to find t is to square both sides. So the square cancels out the square root. So h of t equals negative 1 over 20 t plus root 5 squared and that's it for h of t. Now, this topic is extremely important for the AP exam. So I highly recommend, if you did not do lessons five and six last quarter, to go back and review those videos.